So the Act 2 mercenary reigns supreme here on Diablo 2 Resurrected. Most people have heard of the Insight. It is an absolute great and amazing option to put on that Act 2 mercenary. Sometimes it can be a struggle though, finding those runes you need to make the rune word and to find the base in order to make that rune word. Because you're going to need a four socketed polearm. So if you're looking to make an insight, look no further because I'm here to give you the tips, tricks, and a full guide here on how to get the runes and the base in order to make that. So without further ado, let's get after it. So if you're very new and you don't exactly know what an insight is, I'll show you one right here. It's most notably for its meditation aura and a large amount of enhanced damage for a rune word that has such low of runes. Now, in order to make this rune word, you just need a Ral, Tear, Tal, and Soul. Super low runes for such a powerful rune word. And to put these runes into, you need a four socketed polearm. Do not make the mistake that I'm sure everyone has made at some point in their Diablo 2 career. Do not try to make an insight in a spear. I know they look the same, but it specifically has to be a polearm. Now the first thing we'll talk about is how to get the runes because there's this incredibly easy way to get all of them. You could actually get the Raal, Tear, and Tal from Normal Countess, but you can't get a soul from Normal Countess. So I would suggest you could actually run Nightmare Countess and even get the soul rune so you can get all four. Obviously also you could get all these runes from running the Hell Countess as well. Now honestly the runes are kind of the easiest part. Sometimes it can be annoying how long it could take you to even find a four socketed polearm. This is where some of the best tips and tricks come in. Now the first thing I'm going to explain, there is something that comes down to the item level. It's not displayed anywhere on the item. The item level is just a behind the scenes level that the game uses and that is going to be determined by the level of the monster that drops it. So all the way through Norm, monsters aren't high enough level to drop a polearm that would have four open sockets. That is, of course, until you get to Normal Cows. You could find yourself a four socketed polearm in Normal Cows, or you can grab any polearm in Normal Cows, except for a Bardrich, Bardish, Bardish? I don't know how it's pronounced, but that particular item can only get three open sockets, but any other polearm that you pull from Normal Cows, you could take it over to Larzik and use the socket quest in order to add sockets to it, and you will get four open sockets every time because the Larzik quest gives the maximum sockets that an item can get. But do remember though, that particular trick works specifically for normal cows. There are other places in early nightmare that that would also work, but it's harder to determine the item level because you don't know exactly what level the monster is that dropped it, but you do know normal cows, it will work every time. It is also definitely possible, obviously, for anywhere later on in the game, either in nightmare or in hell, to find a four socketed polearm. So in general, later in the game, good places to farm or good places to go kill monsters to try to find a four-socketed four polearm. You can do Nightmare or Hell Cows, any of the Bale runs or Chaos Sanctuary runs, or Eldritch and Shank isn't a bad option as well. If you don't want to use your Larzic quest, you can actually do a cube recipe to attempt to get four open sockets in a polearm, whether it is one later in the game like in Hell if you have an elite base, or if it's one that you pull from the normal cows. And that cube recipe is a Ral, an Amen, and a perfect amethyst. Now the way this cube recipe works, in the background, what it rolls, it will pick randomly between one socket and six sockets. So if it picks six sockets, but the item that you're cubing can only get a maximum of four, you will have a 50% chance to get four sockets, a one in six chance to get one socket, the same for two sockets, and the same for three sockets. And it works that way because if you do that cube recipe and you roll a six, it will automatically divert down to the maximum number of sockets that that item can get. Now that obviously could be a risk. Obviously, if it's a four open socket maximum on that item, you could get the one, two, or three, and it essentially scraps that item. You are taking a chance, but you are saving that Larzic quest. There is an elite base later in the game, the Colossus Vulge, that if you take it over to the Larzic, and use that quest to add sockets, you will get four open sockets every single time. The one thing to look out for though, is this base requires a ton of strength for your mercenary. Your mercenary probably needs to be around level 85 in order to even use it. It also isn't the fastest attacking base, so 
it is more of a base just to get that first insight as fast as you can if you need it. Really a lot of the other elite polearm bases are preferred. Also to mention later in the game you want to get yourself an ethereal or open socket poleaxe of the elite variety. If you didn't know this, any item that you put on a mercenary, it does not lose durability. So the ethereal items will have way more damage, or if it's an armor, we're not talking about that today in this video, but it'll have way more defense. And you do not have to worry about it ever breaking. So if you use all this information, it'll help you get an insight way faster. I really hope this video helped you out. Hit that like button for me if you did. I want to give a huge shout out to the channel members. With your support, you make all this possible. Peace out YouTube, hopefully I catch you in the next video. And don't forget, keep slaying.